And for more on Benjamin Netanyahu's visit, I was joined a brief time ago by Israel's economy minister, Naftali Bennett. Naftali Bennett, thank you for coming in. I know this is a busy week for you. President Obama's national security advisor has said that Prime Minister Netanyahu's address to Congress tomorrow is going to be destructive to the ties between the U.S. and Israel. Why would you risk that? What's really destructive is uh, the pending deal between Iran and the P5 plus 1. This deal, when, uh, when I saw the details, I was astonished. Uh, we're talking about an unmitigated disaster. This deal effectively paves the way for Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon with Western legitimization, something uh, unacceptable. And while, while we value our relationship with the United States of America, we have no better friend in the world, we have to do everything in our ability to prevent this. Yet, the United States ambassador to the UN, Samantha Power, said today the US will not allow Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon, period. Don't you believe her? Well, what matters is deeds. And in fact, the, the details as they're arising, uh, suddenly Iran is allowed to um, enrich uranium. Why? You know, uh, Mexico, Canada, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland all have uh, nuclear civilian power. They don't enrich uranium. There have been six consecutive uh, Security Council resolutions that forbid Iran But you've said to yourself that the U.S. is your staunch ally. You've acknowledged that. Why do you think your ally would let you down? I mean, the U.S. Secretary of State said today, Israel's security is at the forefront of all of our minds. Yeah, well, well of course, it's our great our big ally, but also good friends sometimes have disagreements. By the way, not on the objective, but on the means. I think uh, there's too much naivete regarding the thought that Iran will actually uh, uh, not break out with a nuclear weapon. These guys want a bomb. They, we, everyone knows it, and we can't give them this the tools to do This administration is not naive. This is a superpower here in Washington. You really think they're naive? Well, mistake. This uh, agreement would go down in infamy if it happens, and we have to do everything in our power. It's not the first time in our history of Israel and United States that we have disagreements. Friends sometimes disagree, but uh, I think this would be a mistake, first and foremost, for America itself. You know why? Because Iran is developing intercontinental missiles. They don't need that for Riyadh or for Tel Aviv. They need it for New York and London. And, and Iran wants to have that capability. Why would we let them do that? Well, your critics within Israel, many of them former security chiefs, say that in being this vocal in your opposition, you're actually going to drive America towards a deal with Iran. Are you not worried about that? No, I disagree, because we tried the quiet route for a long time. Unfortunately, we're seeing that the P5 plus 1 and Iran are getting very close to nailing down a deal that would allow 6,500 centrifuges, would allow a definitive path to a bomb within a reasonable time frame. We have to stop this. Uh, you know, we have a Jewish state, we have one Jewish state, perhaps in the most dangerous place in the world. If Iran goes nuclear, Egypt will go nuclear, Turkey will go nuclear, the whole region will become hell. We all together have to stop this from happening. What is Prime Minister Netanyahu going to say tomorrow? Is he going to reveal confidential details of these negotiations, as the Americans have warned him not to do? I think uh, Netanyahu, Prime Minister Netanyahu, is going to present the outline of the deal and the uh, repercussions, the implications of such a terrible deal uh, in order for the decision makers in Washington, the Congress, the Senate, uh, to, to have all the information they need to make a calculated decision. I see no reason to prevent our Prime Minister from presenting this to, to the world. If it's a good deal, why hide it? Naftali Bennett, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.